So I voted on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. I love democracy. I'm sorry, I just love the whole process. You know, regardless of the outcome, I love that people get out there and they do this. I'm from Chicago, which is a political city. Let me explain. My dad died in May, but he voted on Tuesday. <laughs> was 1983 in Chicago. This is how I fell in love with politics. So my first election, Chicago was electing a mayor. Let me explain, Chicago is a city of neighborhoods, and the PR people tried to spin that like it's some, you know, big multicultural love fest, you know, pierogies and muddy waters, and we're all just jamming, but that's not really how it is. It's a city of neighborhoods that hate each other. <laughs> The Irish would cross 18th Street, beat up the Italians, and all cruise down the market park and you know kick some Mexican ass. I mean, that's that's how Chicago works. So 1983, there's an election, and it was a three-way. Now, like your kind, it's like the high <laughs> uh, Three-way rose and no beauty. Three-way race, and the candidates were there was the machine candidate. Do you guys know what the machine is? Trump machine is like the modern marvel of getting out the vote. You know what I'm saying? The way the machine works, it, it's like a guy will come up like to, in a um, Lincoln Town car, take you to the polls, and if you vote, you get a hand. Like that's how, <laughs> which doesn't work very well in the Jewish neighborhoods. But, <laughs> but they don't care, because we're all like late front liberals who vote against the machine. So that's how it works. So the candidates are Jane Byrne from the Northwest side, which is your lace curtain Irish Cubs fans, you know, kind of, and, and she was the machine candidate, so that should have been the end of it. But the other candidates, it was little Richie Daly, you know, the old Richie Daly's son from the Southwest side, which was kind of a rough and tumble neighborhood of White Sox fans and hoodlums. And then the third candidate was like Harold Washington, the African American with deep roots in the progressive movement. And he had the support of the South Side, the Bulls fans, and the Lakefront liberals, who actually didn't have a sports team, but we did root for Nobel Prize nominees. So, <laughs> so I was a Lakefront liberal, you know, I was a good, good Jewish girl. I read the new Republican boycotted lettuce, and, and, and so I decided to volunteer for Harold Washington. So the Washington campaign decided to send me down on election day to the east side. Now the east side was a neighborhood we used to call Skiak of Vichigrad, because to live there your name had to end Skiak of and Vich. And these people scared me. This was like tiny little ranch homes and the sons and daughters of Nazis. I mean, I hated them with that deep tribal animosity. And you know, you didn't have to go there that often because there was like, it was across the river. There was actually a drawbridge. If you, have you seen Blues Brothers? Remember, they, that's the bridge. That's a, I've never been there before. I was scared to go. The only thing I knew about it was their older man was a guy named Eddie Rodoliak. And I'm going to say alleged a lot now because I don't want to get sued this goes on YouTube. And he was like allegedly not a good guy. He was a bad guy. I mean, I mean, he had been indicted for attempted murder for allegedly like throwing out of a balcony for using the wrong contractors for their for their fundraiser when he was running. They raffled off a prostitute, like allegedly, you know. I mean, <laughs> Out. You know, but he didn't use the word black. He would use the word I don't use that starts with an N. I mean, and it wasn't whispered. It was like on a flyer. You know? I mean, so they sent me down to the east side. So I got down there with my little idealism and my, you know, Harold Washington palm cards. And, and there are these, these seven guys who, who I assumed were like part of the Croatian mob. You know? I mean, they were, they were like standing out of the polling place with their jamber. Oh my God, already? Okay. You know, and they're wearing their, you know, shiny shoes and their, their members only jackets. And, 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 they, and they formed a circle around me and they said to me, and I have to use the N word, I'm sorry. They said to me, you're a nigger loving Jew communist. And I'm thinking, you know, what am I going to do? Quibble? You know? <laughs> so being a Jew, I had the only reaction I could. You know, I kind of faced my fear and reached deep down and told a stupid joke. <laughs> so I looked at the guy and I said, what are you, psychic? <laughs> now guess my zodiac sign. And then he all started laughing and he pulls this bottle of Slivovitz out of his pocket, this nasty Croatian brandy. Well, you know, here, okay, have a put. I'm pulling. 
when they're eighth boomer. And we started to talk, and I never really talked to these guys before, and I found out for them politics, it wasn't ideology, it wasn't what you read in the New Republic, it was jobs and services, it was whether your playground got wood chips or like the more traditional ground cover of asphalt and broken glass, you know? <laughs> November. So we talked, and that's my point, is we talked, we drank, we laughed, we passed our palm cards, and maybe I will never agree with these people, but for that one day, we all participated in the American democracy.